Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm in a spacesuit and today I'm going to be upgrading one of the first prisons ever built. Poseidon's Vault. But compared to some of the bigger prisons today, it's kind of lost its title of being inescapable. This was a very influential build and it started a whole prison trend. And I want to make it better though. So the first thing I did was I hollowed out the entire interior and I'm thinking because of its small size it probably deserves something like a perception box but before we do anything to the main build I'm going to upgrade the portal. Okay so now I've got the portal ready. Very simple, just a little bit more secure at the back and now I think it's time for the perception box. All right, so I think to start, we should go with a loop of observers. All right, so now we've got the loop of observers. If you break any one of those observers, it would send a signal all the way down to around about there. All right, so now I've got another one of the sides all done. Now we just need to stack this loop. All right, so now the entire thing is surrounded in observers. Brilliant. Now I think it's a good time to start working on the floor. And I'm also doing a new technique which uh, stops people from bed glitching into the actual floor itself from digging underneath. So that's going to be very important. All right, so the idea is if there's anyone who's trying to power glitch up below this or trying to bed glitch up, the firework will get dispensed and will trigger this target block. But the reason why it needs to be two blocks high is because using the squilly bed glitch, you can only teleport into two block high spaces. So this is going to be very important. Oh yeah, also, prisons don't need to be built at bedrock anymore. Ta-da! All right, there we go. I've just stacked the entire thing and now the rails are in all these weird angles. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to fix this. This command should do it. There we go. Oh. Hmm. It's a little bit botched in some places, but we'll manage. Very nice. Look at that. All right, so let's see. If a powered rail is powered, how many other rails can it power? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine from when the block was powered. So we have to like space out the observers every nine blocks. Also, we could do it every 17 blocks as well, because it can go out to hit. And there we go, now we just have to hook up all these. Okay, that's all done, and it actually looks kind of cool. Oh, and also don't forget about the sides. Alright, that's side one complete. And now with this last bit, that should be the whole outer defense is done. Okay, just going to work on hooking up the lockdown machine. Actually, I kind of like this design a lot more. And of course, the keycard activated suicide switch. So, quick progress update. I have got the warden room set up, which also requires a keycard. And when you put in the keycard, you can activate the suicide switch, which is just connected up to a command block for now. I've got a stasis chamber, lots of storage, and ender chest a nice uh, checker door and then over here we've got the visitor process which starts out with the portal going into the locker room going into the room where you can choose to be a visitor or a prisoner and i've also got the cell so yeah i'll be back with the next progress update okay final update of the video so i have got the command block that enables the chunk bands and just to prove it works I'm going to go into the warden room and switch on the chunk band and as you can see that's functioning perfectly we go ahead and switch this all off so for the interior you've still got the cell the guard room the warden room let's go ahead and show you the guard stasis chambers there's only two stasis chambers because there's not going to be that many people in the prison. Keep it a bit more survival friendly. And the way that it's activated is using some wireless redstone on the outside. 
The design for the virus redstone was invented by Haida, and I recommend checking out his channel. So, how the uh, visitor enters the prison is the guard has to enable the portal, then the visitor goes through into the nether and back in to enter here. Then all the guard needs to do is just close the portal and also someone on the outside would likely uh, close this portal as well. So once they're in, the guard would open the entry door and then use the composter just to see the visitor going through and then what you would do is you would dispense the shulker. Now for the visitor to just store their items, they can put it in the shulker, close it off and then when they want to get it back, the guard can just dispense the shulker again. The player can grab their items, store it in their under chest, and then break the box. So, then we move on to the kill check. Likely use one of these composter glitches to watch the visitor walk through, and then you can go ahead and close the kill check door. Now, we can open the visitor bed. So the visitor would set his bed here, and then once that's closed, harming will be dispensed. So then, because of the shulker system, it will respawn all the way up into the cell. And then when he wants to get that out again, the guard can do something pretty cool. So, I think the control's here. Visitor exit will be opened. So, the spawn point for this shulker will be up here. And then the conduit can be switched off. So the person inside this room will slowly drown to death and when they respawn, they'll respawn down here. They could go down this chute, go through this door, grab the items from the shulker box and then go back through the portal. For the guards to spectate, all right, and if the guy wants to see the cell, you could just use this uh, compost glitch. And if he wants to actually enter the cell itself, right click this note block, throw a pile, right at the corner and then maybe throw another one if he's that bad at pile glitching just like me and there you go I'm a failure. uh so yeah i think that's pretty much it on poseidon's vault v2 although i could actually you know make a couple modifications to the design yeah, I'm kind of liking this design. And Sven, I'm sorry that I buried your prison under 300 tons of snow. It just felt like a good idea. But anyway, everyone, thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll see you all next time.